Seven is on your side tonight after several instances of graffiti in D.C.'s Edgewood neighborhood in recent days. Some residents there on the 2200 block of 3rd Street Northeast have complained. And now, as Mike carter Canine reports, D.C. police are increasing patrols of the area to help the neighborhood fight back. Now you can't go to facing somebody's property. D.C. police are investigating what residents in the Edgewood neighborhood call an uptick in graffiti in the past few days around 3rd and Adams Streets Northeast. You know, I'd probably be, you know, a little upset because it would be on my walkway. I've never seen it in this neighborhood before, and I just hope that it don't lead to anything else. While many neighbors here worry these tags could be a precursor to other criminal behavior, other neighbors say the real problem here is drug dealing and other illegal activity late at night. A lot of us who live here don't spend a whole lot of time out late at night. This woman requested not to be shown on camera. I think it would be great if there were more uh, police presence, especially foot patrols. Responding to concerns on the neighborhood listserv about graffiti and other recent crime, MPD's 5th District Commander said Tuesday, due to increased activity in your area, I instituted overtime footbeats during the evening and midnight tours on the 400 to 600 blocks of Rhode Island Avenue Northeast. The footbeats will be expanded to include 4th Street. But some neighbors say this corner also needs an MPD mobile surveillance unit. That corner is kind of a, a spot that everyone hangs out at, so it, uh, the cops get caught a lot because of it. Longtime residents seem less concerned, saying they don't think this is gangs, just bored teenagers. They really need something to do constructively. That's not constructive. D.C.'s Department of Public Works will remove graffiti, but residents must call 311 to report it. Still, DPW said its graffiti team will be in the area to assess the tags as soon as it can. In Northeast Washington, Mike Carter-Kanine, ABC7 News.